five blasts, it's just kind of because it's long. Whatever. Here we go. Duck Hunt We Fit. Duck Hunt We Fit. What people Three, didn't particularly two, ask for, but you know what? I think all of us are still kind of happy to see. Uh, once again, these are not like two characters that you see particularly often. Uh, so it's it's always exciting to see more of it. Uh, that being said, Zayn right now holding down the stage so well. Louis just can't seem to find his way back on right now. Uh, but wow, that was, that was such clever and intricate spacing that they were able to work their way around that camp, around all of the things on screen simultaneously. Again, Duck Hunt has like three natural barriers, has the Clay Pigeon, has Down B, has Neutral B. Uh, all of them just come in so clutch. That's the double Clay Pigeon into the down air. Not, ah, they wanted the double down air. They wanted it, wasn't able to find it though. That was so close. It's a whole bunch of damage either way. And if you're thinking about this from Zane's perspective, then they can start trying out a lot of these, a lot of the tools that may work later in bracket as well, or at the very least run them through a pretty solid test run with another Wii Fit waiting in the wings. Uh, this is matchup experience from another player mid bracket. So you see him going for those double downers that didn't work, that he didn't go for against numbers. We'll have to see if Louis Jesus can adapt to the different kind of look that Zayn is showing them. Mm-hmm. Right now, Zayn holding down the stage, they were the ones who lose the stock first, so they just need like one really, really good, one good ledge trap, uh, and they'll be able to even it back up, but you always have to be so mindful about the way that Reefit will be using uh, Header off the ledge. She can put on copious amounts of damage, war crime level amounts of damage. It's, uh, yeah, terrifying, always. Yeah, deep breathing is kind of, it, it's kind of sus, not gonna lie. Like, it's kind of sus, just a little teeny tiny bit of, wow, that can, just coming back all the way from the top platform and saying, hey, hey buddy, you remember me? Did you expect me? No? Well, it's time for you to go anyways. Um, right now, Zane, keeping themselves so vulnerable at center stage, not catching these jumpings from Louie. Good coverage with the can, just sort of backing off Louis, stopping the edge guard from taking place. Oh, he squished underneath a Wii Fit's F tilt. The landing, uh, the landing animation from Duck Hunt falling right underneath that move, but not a second time. As Luigi just that's all Louis's looking for. That's what, that's what he wants. That's what he wants. He keeps his intentions on his sleeves. Uh, and and. So scary. This is this is terrifying. Oh, but the can coming back to save Zane at the last possible second. See, that could have gone so poorly. Um, but wow, Weefit's ability to pile on damage will never cease to impress me. Oh man, that poor cowboy just got stomped. Thank you. There's only so much that he can do at this point. He's down. Uh, so he's on death's door with a whole stock down. Against Louis Jesus, who's really prepared to react in these scramble situations and not afraid to go deep either. Louis Jesus looking to like, looking to find these kills as soon as they are made available to him. 150% in climbing, not worrying about that one bit. Oh, and uh, able to find one of those up there is about to having such a high ceiling. The second one, though, gonna be more than enough to take it. I have seen Zane come back to them. Hellulous positions, like, once it, uh, uh, never mind. But Louis gets it. Louis, Louis found it. Man, just one big explosion ends up, uh, ends up ending the game, I guess. It's, it's hard to see with that can, but... Zane, I guess they're gonna have to adjust mid set. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, so I'll tell you exactly what happened here. So, what Zane was anticipating was to be able to hit Louis Jesus' shield while the gunman was hitting it. Uh, but they were a little bit too late. Wait, uh, we, uh, play it back a little bit further back. A little bit? Oh, yeah, he's just in shield and he tipped the can. Yeah, so, so like, further back? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 so what happens here, right? So, Louis, uh, holds shield. The gunman comes down, is able to shoot him, and then Zane tries to land a little bit safer. Uh, maybe, like, while Louis is still stuck in some of that shield stun, and maybe still, like, extend the hit. Uh, but then the can just ends up detonating. That can, wow. It really be alone sometimes, you know? Yeah, can is... Ken's most one of the most awkward things in this game because not only is it fully under the control and one tap of the B button sends it in the direction that Duck Hunt was facing when he origin when 
Duck Hunt originally threw it out, but like it can is also on a timer, so it can last I think around 30 seconds before it just ends up exploding. It's, it's a weird thing, and keeping an eye on it is part of both players. Like it's homework for both players mid game mm -hmm. <laughs> to just watch how this can decides to be throughout the game. Most of the time though, Zane uh, uh, finds themselves one step ahead of the can and positions it exactly where he wants it, it to be. Alas, Luigi is... He played that first game super solid, showing a different look than uh, how than how John Numbers usually plays Wii Foot, and we see the swap that Zane, uh, the swap of characters that Zane is uh, known to do sometimes. We're seeing uh, Lucas, interesting. Uh, I yeah, I mean, Lucas in I haven't seen their Lucas in a hot minute. Yeah, Zane's, Zane's Lucas is uh, kind of disgusting, kind of nasty. Uh, they're able to just put on so much damage, copious amounts of damage, and a really short amount of time as well. They're able to just play so patiently and solidly. I haven't seen it in a while myself, and you know how excited I get to put Earthbound characters. I'm, uh, yeah, it's, it's always a good time for me. Uh, but finally, able to get that nail, gets the nail to the weak hit a four to do a whole bunch of down tilts, just mashy mashy on somebody's shield. After all, when you're that safe, uh, you can you can just go to town, my friend. You can you can play your own game at that point. Lucas's frame data is so absurdly safe. While none of it can be used to approach effectively, uh, save something like Zare. Like if if you're not. Like, at even stocks, it almost doesn't matter, and Zane is playing this super well. Like, they, they're they using they're using that, all that all that button power to the advantage, but getting their jump called out hard. Sun Salutation is so strong. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and right now, Zane is just holding up to their stuff really, really well. Um, piling on a little bit more damage. You got it down here. All right. Still kicks this poor little blunt child all the way into the top last zone. And wow, PK Thunder is a menacing tool. You can snake it along, but honestly, having a tool like Kedu that just gives you the coverage that you need went right past the PK Thunder, and that down smash is going to be able to take it. We have a completely even game here. Right now, Zane is just trying to mix up the movement, make it as ambiguous as possible with these uh, beauty verses and the magnet. Speaking of snake, we saw our first sighting and hopefully more of the rope snake. So much power behind that little... Well, that little snake being combining with the double jump cancels and it's relatively quick grab plus a, a tether grab is really good in this game as a whole giving mm -hmm. lucas just one more option to beat shield and zane while having well not showing to be too grab happy at the moment playing playing against Luigi jesus and keeping him at pk fire length um, so there's only a matter of time before zane finds their finds their ticket in like that down smash yeah Again, Louis uh, is doing a good job of establishing the elites for themselves. Um, right now, just sort of playing back, forcing Zane to be the one that's the aggressor, the one that's uh, gonna have to approach you. Honestly, Lucas has plenty of tools to do so, and Zane is making a really effective use out of them, really effective use out of them. Lucas is pretty good at speed, uh, so he's just able to jump in quite well. That move's crazy. Lucas forward air is just absurd. Yep. <laughs> Oh, sets up that header for the future, just waiting to see if, like, you know, maybe at a different point in time uh, that he's going to be able to need it. Oh, that was a good, that's good empty hop from Zane, just being able to get there in time. Uh, beautiful use of the specials and the magnets. Once again, uh, Louis no started jump. to... Yeah, to go for the PK Thunder. Mm -hmm. But he backs off, not, not wanting to deal... Louis Jesus not wanting to deal with the Zane pressure off of ledge. Oh my god, being able to confirm and hit off of that head is this is exactly the kind of thing that Zane needed just to be able to propel the momentum for themselves just a little bit. But Louis, once again, making use out of that crouch, just waiting out that PK file uh, and, and resets the situation. Another soccer ball, the percents are bleeding hard now. He narrowly avoids that sun salutation. And Lucas, no stranger to having plenty of kill power. Mm -hmm. There's tools in the arsenal, but that back air sweet spotting. So strong. Well, catching, excuse me. Workout. Catching uh, Zane while he was still in the initial dash or the startup of dash attack. And 
that'll that'll make it 2-0 in Louis Jesus's favor. Yeah, Zane's gonna really need to pull something out here, be it, you know, uh, another character, perhaps, uh, just coming back to Duck Hunter, just really, you know, they gotta, they gotta stick to their guns. Uh, Louis, I think he's doing a good job of just, I don't know, his, his punish is immaculate, you know, he's chasing Zane offstage really, really deep, uh, but most of all, I think what Louis is excelling at, he is not letting himself get particularly ledge trapped too much by Zane. Um, he is covering himself really well with header. He's waiting out these PK Thunders. Um, Zane needs to be a little bit more careful about those PK Thunder. The PK Thunder can be so huge in this matchup. It can burn people's jumps. It can call out their air dodges. It, it really does everything. But if you get hit out of it, you know, uh, you just you just kind of let them get back on for free. Now, do we see another character swap, or do you stick with the Lucas here? I think we see. Oh, we see the Steve. The Steve. The Steve. The Steve. Uh, and Steve's like another one of those interesting characters that, like, wow, created this little mini obstacle course, like for Louis just to be able to bounce his head off of, making sure that Zayn just keeping the head nice and clear. Yeah, fun fact about all, it's going to be the header that's really going to have to make these blocks uh, that much more stressful because energy projectiles do not damage the blocks at all. And that's exactly what Sun Salutation is or, you know, things like Shadow Ball. So a, a decent counter pick to say the least, but... They need I don't need really to like, those down tilts. Wow. Like, I don't know how I feel about it because what has made Louie really excel in the previous two matchups is how punishing he's willing to be off both off stage and on mm -hmm. and you can kind of bully steve off stage and if when zane tries to chase they just they'll uh, steve will run out of resources much sooner than uh, than they would like yeah it's you know you gotta be like really meticulous and really careful like steve he can he can come back from uh, ridiculous depths, but you have to know how to use those resources correctly. Louis' punish is just immaculate. He's already piling on 67% on the second stop. They taking a second just to gather some resources for themselves. Goes through a bit of stage control, and now this is where they should be able to shine. But again, Louis, so oh, oh. All right, a little bit of a taunt there. I love it. I'm with it. I'm, I'm with it for sure. I, I absolutely love it. He looks. Yeah. You only play Steve for the meme. So. And for yeah. like the ridiculous like traps and setups that he has to offer. Oh no, yeah. Steve has an insane punish game. Uh, there's definitely reasons to play Steve. It just people actually play Steve for the meme and to literally build walls. Wow, but up you <laughs> right into Louie though. Uh, Zane just keeps on teabagging. Uh, this is still like within the realm of possibility for them so as long as they take out the space stock, but it's a huge, huge lead for Louis nonetheless is able to find that header. That great, one, one hit alone. That spike and, and, and header hit just did so much in of itself. That's diamond. We got diamonds, baby. Yeah. Oh my he god. Always has the, uh, Steve huh? always has those minecarts on deck. Uh, a move that surprisingly Zane isn't using all of that much despite it being called one of the best IBs in the game period is that that's gonna it baby take it. oh what you don't want to get hit by the four the FBA it, it's a forward and back and all in one move it, it, it hits only on Wii Fit uh I don't think Zane was particularly anticipating that last hit take a look um they're gonna get knocked off stage with that one F tilt right. sets up the header uh, and then yeah, just goes, just, just dives off. Zane, Zane was definitely not ready for that angle. You know, usually Oof. when you get hit by a forward, you expect to go in the direction that the move is facing. You don't, you don't expect to go up and back. Uh, that's not, that's not a tech that I would have been able to hit. Not this time. No, no, no. We fit. You gotta be ready for all these awkward situations that we fit is gonna put you in. And I mean, I bet Zane doesn't feel particularly great after the end of this bracket. I, D double eliminated by Wii Fit Trainer.